Greetings comrades, my name is Demorora, and welcome back to How Dim Does It. It's been a long time since I've done an episode, but I have very specific reason. It's because I have completely redone how I do ships, as seen in Generation 6. So in front of us, we actually do have the start of a Generation 6B ship. This will not be the ship that I continue to use to do these How Doom Does It. But, if I could please select this, thank you. We are just going to show the difference in hull shaping. So, in the past, I used to do a very, I guess, what would this shape be? A weird triangle shape. So it would be a triangle. But that would work for some situations, but now I see that I was a complete fool for using it, and I use a different tactic. So as we see here, I'm just going to quickly build out the front here, and we're going to talk about what I'm doing. So in the front, I still do have a very sharp nose, and it angles up quite drastically. And this just lets me be able to reduce speed, reduce, or, it, yeah, it reduces drag, increases speed. I'm an idiot. But it does all these things for the cost of a little bit less internal space in the bow. But that's okay, because in the bow, I like to store a lot of, I guess, compartmentalized air to keep buoyancy in the nose, because there is less internal space. And I sometimes like to store things like materials, other things that are not necessary to the ship's survival. So, I'm just going to quickly continue on here, and we will see what's going on here. So, what I like to do for ships is I like to get to my target width right away. So, I build... I build a little platform, and then I start to build from the sides. So I get, I started right here. Right here is the first set of blocks I placed. And this helps me figure out exactly how much internal space I need, how much I need all of that. So then I start to make sure that everything is okay. I make sure that I can put in interior walls if I need to. This has two thick walls. And then I can do this. So what I do here is I build all the way out and then I start to build my usual slants. However, I only build two because if I just go back one really quickly, you want the side of your hole to be like this. So you have a perfectly square box inside. What does this do for you? Well, this helps your stability, this helps your internal space, and this helps your buoyancy. So right here we have a perfect square on the inside, and if I were to, say, just place down my alloy wall, my alloy interior, we would see that it fits perfectly, there is no little area cut out for it, I don't need any of that, it all fits right into the scheme of things. So that's perfect, that's exactly what I want from this build. Now, in the front, I would do the standard sharpening. There's nothing different from that. That's still a Gen 5 left over. There really isn't much to change for it, being honest, but if you feel the need to make your bows a little bit different, some people make them uh, vertical all the way down, like they are in the Dangerous Waters campaign, go for it. That allows a lot more space in the bow, but at the cost of speed, and I do appreciate some speed in my ships. So, here we see what I'm talking about. You want to be able to smooth out this. So you just start... I'm going to build a quick little thing here, right on the side. This isn't going to stay here, but you just start kind of building towards the width you want. And you do a little bit of that. Now this will help keep your wall flat still on the inside, except near the bottom, which it will obviously start curving in eventually. But on the other hand, it makes it look kinda nice, and it does the stability upgrade, it, ha 
adds in the buoyancy upgrade, all of that. So it's very nice to try to make your holes squared, but I like to keep two right here. That would be diagonal cut, just like this. And that way, you still have some reduced drag from the front, but you also still have a perfectly square box. Now that is all the time I have for this episode. That's all I really wanted to cover that is different between Generation 5 and Generation 6. But if you guys are wanting more of how Doom does it, or if you're wanting to see something specific, I will not be going over auto cannons again, as this gun right here is very similar to the ones I've made before. Just tiny modifications for Gen 6. But anyways, guys, as for now, Dimarora signing off.